Aquarius season is here. Yes, the 11th sign of the zodiac, the third and final air sign, and the time of year when energies could feel extra spicy or edgy, a sense of there's a desire to know more about your own frequency, your own sense of self. So Aquarius has this very interesting dichotomy where typically we think of Aquarius in these very general terms of it's your networks, your friends, your acquaintances, your groups, your social media, people that you know. And so it brings up these collective energies, you know, what's going on in the collective energy field, what is working well in the frequencies, what's happening, what's going on. And that's what I mean by the spiciness. Like there can be a strong desire to socialize. Aquarius is also quite creative because of the visionary energy. But oftentimes the Aquarius journey is one that leads us further into our individuation process. Individuation is when you understand your own unique gifts your own unique frequency and talents and abilities, what makes you different from everybody else, and then to honor that. Because Aquarius is also the rebel, the revolutionary, the one who disrupts and who's like, we're gonna do this different, we're throwing it all out, we're getting rid of the baby and the bathwater. we're gonna start fresh because I have a brilliant idea. So this energy with Aquarius can make us feel very alive, we can have some new things coming up or coming through, but what we're really meant to tap into is getting more aware of who you are and to feel strong in that, to feel really powerful in how you're different from everybody else, in how you are your own unique energy and why that's needed because it's part of the bigger mosaic the bigger mosaic of energies on the planet and why that is necessary. So part of the Aquarius journey is that maybe we first seek out belonging. That's an Aquarius word. Where do I belong? Where do I go? Where should I be? Like, where are my people? Where is my soul tribe? And then along the way, you start to understand more about who you really are through those interactions with others, through those connections, through those friendships. You can start to see, yes, we have this in common, but then I'm seeing where I'm different or where I have my own flavor and where I love that about myself. So part of this really fascinating Aquarius energy signature is that we could have a desire, kind of that, it's like a soul longing to belong, to fit in. And that's part of our desire for connection, for safety, for understanding that I'm not all alone in the world. There's other people who get me. But then as we strengthen in our own frequencies, we become okay doing our own thing, going our own way, being different, separating ourselves from the group that we previously identified with and knowing that Ultimately, in the higher frequencies, we're all connected. And if you can operate from that part of the collective consciousness energy field, that's where you can really start to feel alive. So I hope this Aquarius energy is tapping you into your unique frequency, how you are innately connected to the soul family here on the planet at this time, but also remind you that there's things that you are meant to do on your own, on your own terms, in your own way, and that could be part of your soul mission in this lifetime as well. So I wanted to offer this understanding of Aquarius energy to you, to support you, to help you understand perhaps more of the bigger themes that can come up during this time of year, as well as to really remind you that this is a beautiful season to honor your uniqueness, honor your individual spark, honor how you do things your own way because that is what the world needs now. That is what we're here for.